Today we're going to look at testing green roof retention. So retention is water held by the green roof that could only leave through evapotranspiration. Water could be held in capillary micropores in the soil, in absorbent layers like needled mineral wool, and in retention cups underneath. So Dick, is there any way to measure retention? There's actually no protocol. Wait, 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 you were supposed to talk about ASTM... Well, yes, there's an ASTM test called ASTM E2399, which is used to measure retention, but that's not actually what it does. It was written to determine the maximum weight of the green roof. Wait, well, let's talk about that. Great, I'd love to. Let's clear this up once and for all. Here is how the ASTM test is done. Here we have a one square foot green roof profile. First, we establish the weight of the dry components. Obviously, this is not completely dry because the plants are alive. Then, we submerge the profile for 24 hours to fill up every possible pore space with water. Then, we drain it for two hours and wait to see how much water it is holding. That looks pretty thorough, but how much is it like rain? Well, here's what happens when it rains. So which one is going to give you the most accurate weight of a green roof once it's completely saturated? ASTM. And which one is more like what actually happens? Uh, the second one, it's like rain. This is interesting because the engineer is always asking for ASTM documentation on retention. These things go straight into the pyramid drawings. Yeah, for now. But come on, people used to use things like fax machines and rotary dial phones and the Macarena. But in all seriousness, a company called Green Roof Diagnostics is doing some groundbreaking research on how to calculate retention. And, spoiler alert, the ASCM test doesn't do well for this purpose. Plus, you get more bang for your buck with detention anyway. So stay tuned for more on detention. If you like this video, follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or anywhere you find your podcast. And of course, on purpleroof.com.